Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking how to put thermal paste onto a CPU and install a heatsink. Okay, first things first, when people tend to do this, they have a habit of just smothering the entire thing in thermal paste, and that's not a good thing. I should explain that the thermal paste is just there to block any kind of little indiscrepancies in the top of the CPU. You're just like, it's like a filler, it's a thin layer of filler. It just covers it in so you get a nice smooth seal. So you only need a tiny amount and the cores are all in the middle here, okay? Uh, today we're going to be using the stock heat sink because it's nice and small so you can see it easily. Uh, so let's apply the thermal paste. So what you're looking for is something like this. So this is a P and you want no more than that on the center of your CPU, okay? So, here we go. I've got some Cooler Master thermal paste I got with some other cooler, just for the demonstration purposes. So we just squeeze it on like this. This is quite a liquid, this one. Just into a little P like a P-ish shape, anyway. Okay, now we get the fan. Now it's important when you're putting the, putting these on that you put these into so the the fan header can go in. Our fan head is right here, so it actually doesn't matter which way around it goes. So I'm going to put it with the, the switch this way, and it can go close. Okay. So. What we do, we line it up over here, and we lower it down, like that, hook it in, in one side, in the other, like this, and then we merely go like this, and that's one heat sink installed. Now if we plug in the fan header, which is back here, goes like that, you see. So all you need to do to take it off again, flick this lever back over, flick it out from there, out from here, and the heat sink should just lift off. And if you look at that, maybe it's a tiny bit too much we've got there. But that's actually, it's perfectly covering the cores are in the middle. That's a pretty much a good coverage of thermal paste we've got there. So there we go. That is how to install thermal paste onto your CPU.